In this lesson, I'd like to continue to look at order of operations, and uh, we'll look at a couple of examples that are a little more complicated than the ones we saw in the last video. Um, and, and the point of emphasis I really want to make in these two examples is that it is really, really important to rewrite the expression every single time you take a step. So, and we'll see what we need to make sure we're doing in this example here. So we have 3 times 2 to the 4th minus 129 divided by 3. Now when you're doing problems particularly that have a lot to do, there should kind of be two parts to your work. Over here on the left is going to be the main body of our work and then over on the right here is going to be any scratch work that we find necessary. So uh, we can see here that as a first step, we should be drawn toward this exponent because there's no parentheses or other grouping symbols involved. And so exponent uh, exponents are at the top of our list once you get past parentheses and grouping symbols. So I know I need to figure out what 2 to the 4th is. So let's just remember what 2 to the 4th means, right? 2 to the 4th means 2 times... 2 times 2 times 2. So this goes over in our scratch work where we're just trying to figure out what um, things that we're trying to evaluate are equal to. And I can go ahead and multiply 2 times 2, 2 times 2, and we get 16. So I can replace 2 to the fourth with 16. And so I rewrite everything, everything in this problem that has not been changed. The 3 times the minus 129 divided by 3, I rewrite all that out again. It's a really important thing to do. I promise you these uh, questions will go so much more smoothly if you do this. Now next, uh, we know we want to do multiplication, division before addition and subtraction. Um, technically, you're always supposed to go from left to right when you're deciding whether to do multiplication or division first. But because they are subtracted uh, or separated by a subtraction sign, if you want to do the multiplication and division in the same step, that's okay. So in your scratch work over here, you can say, okay, I need to figure out 16 times 3, and that's going to give me 48. Uh, and then you can also take 129, divide it by 3. 3 goes into 12 four times. Drop the 9, 3 goes into 9 3 times. So we can replace 3 times 16 with 48. And 129 divided by 3 with 43. And then we can subtract these. And we know that 48 minus 43 is 5. So now taking a look at this example on the right, We've got a lot going on here, and a lot in terms of grouping symbols. Notice we've got brackets here, and brackets are a type of grouping symbol, and then parentheses. And so this, these brackets here say, okay, do everything inside of me first before doing anything on the outside. So, okay, we know we're supposed to go in here and look at 9 minus 4 times 7 minus 5 in parentheses. That's the stuff we should be looking at first. But then within those brackets, we understand what to do first. We're supposed to do parentheses first. So what's going to happen here is we're going to rewrite everything. And the only thing we're changing is we're going to take care of those parentheses. 7 minus 5 is 2. And I'll go ahead and keep it in parentheses because remember that having a number in parentheses next to another number indicates multiplication. And then we can close off that bracket. Okay, but we still have some more to do inside these brackets. We have subtraction, we have multiplication, and we know that multiplication comes before subtraction always. And so 9 minus 8, 4 times 2 is 8. And then finally, we can 
finish what's in the brackets there. 9 minus 8 is 1. And then what do we have left? We have addition and then we have multiplication. And we know when multiplication comes first. So 22 plus 3 times 1 is 3. And then finally finishing this problem off, we have 25.